You know Kid Rock for his big hits like Born Free, and last year he was even rumored to be mulling a Senate run in Michigan, his home state. But instead, the singer is putting his support behind Senate hopeful John James and even campaigned for him last night. Watch this. He understands we need to make our families stronger, our communities more involved, and help our neighbors first. Now, I truly believe that John is the best candidate to lead us on this journey. The next senator from the great state of Michigan, John James. What a great setup. Joining us right now is that Iraq War vet and Michigan Republican Senate candidate, John James. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. How did you get uh, Bob Ritchie, also known as Kid Rock, to endorse you? Well, in my very first news interview, uh, he was actually watching. And uh, I believe that uh, you made the connection, and uh, we started talking. And uh, we began connecting a number of shared values, our love for this country, our love for the state of Michigan, and uh, doing everything we possibly could uh, to give a voice to those who don't have a voice for themselves and to fight for those who can't fight for themselves. Uh, Kid Rock is a patriot uh, who loves this nation and who's serving in his own way. And uh, I spoke the first time about how when I was deploying to Iraq the first time in, uh, in November 2007, this was when his, uh, his song uh, uh, All Summer Long came out. And, right. uh, while I was uh, fighting for Iraqi freedom, he was, uh, he was raising morale among the troops. So uh, just excited to, uh, to get the momentum. And if you want to see the rally, um, go to johnjamesforsenate.com and we'll have it posted for you. That's right. He was watching this program, saw you on TV, reached out to us and our producers, and we were able to uh, uh, give him the information on how to get a hold of you. But, but here's the thing. I understand last night at this event, he actually apologized because uh, Kid yeah. Rock said, you know, uh, I, I had this promotional stunt last year and people thought I was really serious about running for Senate, so I apologize if I let any of my supporters down. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, this just shows you where uh, Kid Rock's heart is. Uh, it's not about him. It's never been about him. It's been about using his platform to be a blessing to others, whether it's raising morale, whether it's raising awareness uh, or in, in getting this. And this is, quite frankly, something that kind of got out of his control. Uh, when people hear about somebody who's not uh, inoculated by the liberal uh, fake news, uh, somebody who can see above all the crap and uh, be able to cut through <laughs> and uh, understand what's really going on. Uh, he's not one of those entertainers uh, who's, uh, who's spouting off the, the, the progressive nonsense that's tearing our country apart. He's able to think for himself, and he understands that we're independent thinkers. And uh, sometimes people get excited about that and get carried away, and he took responsibility for his part and apologized and, uh, and then continued to endorse my campaign. Absolutely. Uh, he's not one to uh, throw his support behind a bunch of candidates. Tell us a little nope. bit about your personal story. Tell us about your military service and your family business. Sure. Uh, well, I graduated from West Point in 2004. I became a Ranger qualified Apache pilot and flew 750 hours combat in Operation Iraqi Freedom. I came back because I was shocked not only by what I saw in combat, but during the Great Recession, what I was seeing piped back to me uh, on the Armed Forces Network of areas of Pontiac, Flint, Detroit, Benton Harbor, some areas of my beloved state that looked worse than the combat zone I was flying in. And after years and years of struggle, too many people did not have the access to economic opportunity. So I came back to join the family business, an automotive supplier in Detroit, and was able to help grow the company by 233%, from $35 million to $137 million, and added 100 jobs in Michigan and east of the Mississippi. I'm the only conservative in this race, endorsed by John Bolton, Marco Rubio, and now Kid Rock. I have the experience, my combat, understanding national security uh, and the critical things that are facing this nation. I know how to keep Americans safe because I've done it before. I also am a businessman and understand how to grow a company mm -hmm. and create jobs. And I'm the only one who can beat Debbie Stabenow in November. Well, there you go. A businessman who wants to get into politics. That sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Uh, John James is a Republican running for the U.S. Senate seat in Michigan. John, thank you very much for joining us today from Detroit. Thank you for having me. You betcha.